Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yesudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. In almost every dermatological consultation, we emphasize the need to use moisturizers on the skin. However, there's very little information on how it should be applied, especially in the limbs where the skin is the driest. In this brief video, we will look at the science behind moisturizers and the best way to use it on our limbs. Please note that our face generally tends to have natural oils and needs less moisturizers compared to our limbs. I will therefore not be looking at moisturizers on the face in this video. Moisturizers are probably the most prescribed product in dermatology. This is because of an increased incidence of dry skin, which occurs with various skin conditions and also with an aging population. There are various types of moisturizers. They can be divided into occlusives, which form a thin film on the layer of the skin, emollients, which fill up the gap between the superficial layers of the skin, and humectants, which draw moisture from the environment and from the underlying skin. What are the benefits of using a moisturizer? It hydrates and smoothens the skin surface and makes it soft. They also have anti-inflammatory action and hence have a soothing effect on the skin, particularly if it's inflamed. They reduce itching by reducing the inflammatory changes in the skin and by preventing excessive water loss. It also forms a barrier against external toxins. With increasing pollution all over the world, moisturizers are likely to play an important role in preventing harm from environmental toxins. Hydrating the skin also reduces the aging process and gives us younger looking skin. How do moisturizers work? It's common to think that moisturizer adds water to the skin. However, that's a misunderstanding. Actually, it works by preventing or reducing water evaporation from the skin. This action allows the skin to rehydrate from within. There are various types of moisturizers, creams, ointments, gels and lotions. Generally speaking, the more dry the skin, the greasier the moisturizer should be. Therefore, using an ointment is better for those with inflamed and dry skin, for example, an eczema. However, the greasy and sticky properties of some ointments can be a major nuisance, particularly at work, and the smell of some products can be difficult to accept. Choosing the right moisturizer is therefore by trial and error. There's no best moisturizer, just the one that suits the patient. I will ask my patients to try small samples of moisturizers to find the one that they feel suits their skin the best. Once they find that, then they can continue using it long term. There are natural moisturizers too. For example, I did a video on virgin coconut oil, which seems to be quite effective in treating dry skin and eczema. An important point to consider is that your skin changes as we age. We may therefore need different ingredients when we are in our 30s and 40s compared to our 20s. The seasonal variation is also important. We may need less in summer, but more in the winter as the air is cold and dry. If we move to a different climate, your moisturizer may need to change as well. If someone is going through the hormonal changes like menopause or pregnancy, our skin will change with that too. For some, even a change in diet can alter the skin. So in general, we need to be aware of our own skin. When do we apply our moisturizers? Generally, it's useful to apply it at least twice a day. Remember that most moisturizers last for about three or four hours. So applying it more often is essential, particularly in those with dry skin or with those with eczema. The best time to apply it would be immediately after the bath or shower. Excessively hot showers can harm the skin. Therefore, lukewarm water is advisable. After the shower, pat dry the skin. Don't rub it vigorously. Let's now look at the science behind how to apply the moisturizer on our limbs. Take it in the palms and warm it first. The rationale behind this is that when we warm the moisturizer, it breaks down a little bit and therefore makes it thinner and more liquid. This also helps to absorb it better into our skin. When we smooth it out, it also distributes the product more evenly over our hands. This allows us to cover our skin more evenly with the moisturizing product. It should be lightly applied along the direction of the hair follicles. This is to prevent the well-known phenomenon of folliculitis because of vigorous rubbing. Many apply moisturizers in a circular or up and down movement, but this irritates the hair follicles and blocks them. So always apply it from top down and repeat it till the skin feels smooth. When I apply it on myself, I always check that the hairs are all oriented in one direction. Finally, make sure there's enough moisturizer to make the skin feel soft and smooth. If it is dry and rough, apply another layer as we want to enhance the skin barrier. 
In conclusion, there is no perfect moisturizer for every person. It's by trial and error that we find out the one which suits us best. Moisturizers are an essential component of treating dry skin and maintaining and hydrating of normal skin. It is not an optional extra. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.